Hi, good morning. It's good to be with you. And uh, it's great just to spend some time together, isn't it? And in the Word of God every morning and just looking what God wants to say to us. Something new every morning that God has for us. And today I wanted to speak about an account in the Word of God um, that is very, very interesting. And Jesus... Um, he's just come down off the, off the mountain after speaking with the people. And that is, as he's walking along, um, a leper comes and, uh, and he, he heals the, the leper. And then he, he's stopped by a man. And I'll read just the account from Matthew uh, chapter 8. It says, When Jesus entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, imploring him and saying, Lord, my servant is lying paralysed at home, fearfully tormented. Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. But the centurion said, Lord, I am not worthy for you to come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. For I also am a man under authority with soldiers under me and I say to this one go and he goes and to another he comes and to my slave do this and he does it now when Jesus heard this he marveled and said to those who were following truly <clears throat> truly I say to you <clears throat> sorry truly I say to you I have not found such great faith with anyone in Israel and Jesus spoke the word and he was healed you see this account is about two things it's about faith and authority it's about having faith in someone and that someone is Jesus and Romans ten seventeen says this so faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God And so the word of God is, is fundamental in our faith. In, 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 you know, another translation says this. It says, and hearing by the word of Christ. And of course the word is Christ, isn't he? He is, he is the word. And it is, having, it is having that sure and solid foundation in Christ Jesus. In, Christ, in fact, in Hebrews 11, 1, it says this. Now faith is the assurance or substance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Faith is not something that's ethereal, that it's, that it's not tangible, you can't feel it or touch it. If I, I, I put my faith in this chair this morning and that when I sat in this chair it would hold me and some of you might be laughing at that. Okay, but it's a strong chair, don't worry. Um, but I have put my faith in, in this chair. Why? Because I saw it and I thought, yeah, I can sit in that. It'll hold my weight. I can do it. Uh, I have put my faith in something that is a substance. And the word of God saying that faith is not something that's ethereal, but it is sub something that has substance. And the substance is this, that, it, that our faith is built on nothing less than Jesus Christ and his righteousness. Our faith is built upon the rock, Christ Jesus. And, and in fact, this word uh, substance or assurance is, is in the Greek, it is taken from the same meaning as, as foundation, a foundation of a building, that you build upon something that is solid. And what we are, what we are doing when we, when we are having faith is having something in uh, is having faith in someone who is solid, that is that his promises are yea and amen. And so the first part of it is having faith and 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 seeing seeing that in operation. And the second part of it is authority. And this man knew what it was to be under authority. He says, "I am a man under authority." Two, 
he, he knew that if he was to operate in authority, he needed to be a man that submitted himself to authority. And he recognised in Jesus someone who operated in an authority that he didn't have, for one, and operated under authority that was far superior to the one that he operated in. You see, he operated in the earthly realm. Jesus operated in an authority that was far higher than that. He operated in authority in the heavenly realm. And, and that Jesus, when he, when he spoke, had an authority to heal, to deliver, to set three free. In fact, his words, he says, the word of God says that he spoke with authority. And, um, and that's what, um, I don't know if this man realised quite who he was in the presence of. That he's actually in the presence of the one who spoke creation into being. That his words were that powerful. That, that he spoke creation into being. That that, that, that was formless uh, and that was, that was void. That, that the word spoke into it and the heavens and the earth were created, the light and the darkness, the, the sea and the land, uh, all the living creatures were created by the word of God. And here he was in the very presence of the word, because John tells us that he was the word in the beginning with God. <laughs> and, um, and he came to Jesus saying, if, if you just speak the word, it will be. You see, he knew what it was to operate in authority. And, and all authority had been given to Christ, hadn't it? You know, in Matthew 18, it says, uh, Then Jesus came to them. Eight, Matthew 28, sorry, verse 18. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey all that I have commanded you, and surely I am with you, even to the end of the age. Wow, all authority. And uh, this centurion realized that if Jesus only spoke the word, he didn't have to be present, he didn't have to be there, he just needed to speak the word because he had the authority to do that and that in the heavenly realm things would shift and those things that are done in the heaven shall be done on earth and so this morning I just believe in the word of God don't you that's why we're here um, but Lord we ask you this morning to speak the word Lord, there are so many people that need a touching body. Lord, that need a touch in their situation, in their circumstance. Lord, that are, that are lying on a bed. Lord, maybe in a hospital. Lord, that are uh, sitting at home. Lord, maybe uh, having to deal with different things. Maybe having to deal with anxiety and depression. Maybe having, Lord God, to work through difficult circumstances with their family. Lord, people that have lost people, Lord, who are grieving within their soul, Lord, speak the word. We ask you to speak the word over their life, to speak healing into those that need healing, to raise them up, Lord God. We ask you to speak peace, Lord, into troubled souls. We ask you to speak comfort into those that mourn. Lord, we ask you just to speak this morning we put our trust and our hope in nothing less than you this morning lord and ask you just to speak the word let's just pray today and ask god to speak the word into people's lives and maybe into the situation that you're in this morning for god to come and just speak into that listen listen for the still small voice Take care. Keep safe. See you soon. God bless.